Last year I ticked off a major bucket list item, joined by my good friend Anton in Northern Thailand. The Mae Hong Song Loop. The loop is a 540 km route around the North Thailand mountains, skirting next to the Burmese border and climbing over the highest point in Thailand, Doi Thanon, on the return. The first day was around 140 kilometers and took us out of Chiang Mai and into the mountains towards a town called Pai, a hotspot for tourist trips due to the laid back feel, local waterfalls and the hot springs. So we've been climbing for about 14k now, then about seven, 800 meters of elevation gain. Um, I think we're a few k's from the top. It's cooling down a bit, hitting these, I think we're about 1500 meters above sea level now. And yeah, you just hit these pockets of cool in the shade with some cool breeze coming down. It just feels so good. Anton's in Bonk City. The good thing is, once I have some food. this trip we had nothing pre-planned with regards to accommodation. We just looked on Google Maps upon arrival and rode around until we found a spot we liked. It was just before high season so this worked out well but if you were there at a busier time of year it might be worth pre-booking. All the places we stayed offered very cheap laundry service so you could easily manage going light and taking one set of kit for the trip. Hello. 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 Cab. High five. Yeah. So we woke up this morning. Probably could have done with some more sleep, but we're pretty raring to go now, I think. So um, we've got 120k, 2.5k of elevation, um, and it shouldn't be too bad, I think. I think we're we're going to get there today. Mei Hong Song, that's where we're going. Just rolling out of pie now. Feeling a little rough. It's about 6:30 a.m. Um, yeah, could definitely do with a coffee. Uh, and we just had to go up like a 15% kicker to get out. Um, yeah, not a very nice wake up call for the legs. But yeah, we're rolling towards this big climb now. Um, I think we hit it pretty much straight away. It's like 12 k's at 7%. Probably take us about an hour, and yeah, then I think it's just rolling roller coasters to Mei Hong Song. <sighs> okay, we're about. Six, seven k's in now, and my earliness, my early morning grouchiness has just completely disappeared. 
we're rolling up and down these hills now and there's just like low clouds sort of hanging everywhere it's so beautiful so still it's just pristine the temperature is just around 24 degrees celsius so it's not too hot and yeah loving it One problem I didn't factor in before the ride was the amount of sweat we would be generating and the subsequent effect this had on my camera microphone. Due to it being on the top tube bag it regularly got wet and frustratingly as I loaded it onto my computer after the trip, I found that it rendered most of the audio footage useless. We continued on onto more and more rural roads. In between showers, got to a viewpoint overlooking the Burmese border and stopped for a well needed baked sweet potato. Zigzagging. On the final few ramps now to Mei Hong Song. Then 1900 meters climbing and about 76k. Pretty tough. I think almost all the climbing has been done at sort of 10% gradients as well. These hills are never ending. So steep. Trying to find the area with the hotels in and stuff. 
That was a tough day. Probably the longest ever 100Ks I've done. It took us about nine hours for about 107K with two and a half thousand meters climbing, but pretty much all of it was just ramping up and down and up and down. Um, so Anton found us a sweet place. Aircon, two beds, um, like 700 baht. And we're right by this lake and we're gonna try and go find some food. So today on our biggest day, Anton's alarm failed to go off at 5 a.m. and we ended up waking at 6. Uh, just had some rice and banana from a 7-Eleven and stuff and um, now it's just started raining. Um, and unfortunately, because today we have to do about 160k with 3,600 meters of climbing, we can't just wait for the rain to stop, we have to just ride through it. Um, so yeah. Got poncho that hopefully that gets the worst off my body. And yeah, just up and down grind all day. into the sky. As we continued riding on the third day, the relentless hills were taking their toll. I had stopped filming as much and was getting into a tunnel vision streamlined thought on how we were going to get to our destination, which even as the kilometres ticked down, it was feeling further and further away. At around 70 kilometers, we reached a small town of Kunyuam, which was to be the last place before a really isolated 100 kilometers through high mountains. And it was there we made a decision to take a rest for the night and tackle the next day with fresher legs. Sometimes you set out with initial exactions of doing a trip in a certain amount of days. In some cases, there's a time constraint or you've already booked accommodation. But in this case, it was just arbitrary, and it mattered not whether we took an extra stop. This turned out to be the best decision of the trip. As we awoke with fresh heads and slightly fresher legs, we set out on the most beautiful of sunrises breaking through the morning mist. I can wholeheartedly say, there's no way I'd have enjoyed this day if we'd ploughed on as planned the day before. It was good to regain some perspective on why we chose to ride through remote Thai jungles in the first place. Everywhere you look, there's something interesting. To quirky roadside shops, to elephants bustling on the roadside, it would have been a shame to not take it all in, just chasing the number.
got over the final climb of the day. Puts us at like puts it at puts us at uh, puts us at uh, about 2,800 meters climbing in 90k. Pretty savage. Just waiting for Anton to come up now and um, then roll down into Monjan. So we're rolling out on our final day now. I'm going to be climbing up Dianthanon. Um, from Mejam, it's a 28 climb to the summit, 28k to the summit. Um, I think it's about 14k, 15k until you get onto the um, the main Dianthanon road. And currently there's about 100 meters visibility with fog down at 400 meters elevation. So, it's not looking good to get to the summit. Having planned with Anton to meet back up at a cafe, around two thirds of the way up on the main road back to Chiang Mai, I set off ahead at Tempo. About halfway up I broke through the clouds to get some great views of the summit, and eventually after two and a half hours of grinding, I finally made it to the top. What a way to finish off! After regrouping with Anton, who was enjoying some nice pad pack ruam, stir fried vegetables and rice when I found him, with the last of the hills behind us, we had a 30 km descent and then a 60 km slog on the highway back to Chiang Mai in the baking afternoon heat. Thank you so much for watching, and while I haven't uploaded anything for months, I'm still surprised at the amount of comments a small channel gets on previous videos, and the impact they have to inspire even years after uploading. So I hope this further contributes to that end. Until next time, goodbye. Final work. Made it back to Chiang Mai. Pretty dead. Alright, it was up for you, Anton. I was struggling the whole way back to Rubber World. Uh, call me there. Yeah. Call me back. Quick! I did, mate.